And then we'll just put a uh, stone slab roof and then drop down and we can light up this. Now, what do I have for slabs? Let's get some more stone bricks crafted just in case I need them. And then we're gonna go through the nether. This is gonna be scary. It's always really laggy and it is, it is pretty, pretty nuts when you go in. My gosh, this is taking like ages to load. And it's, oh, 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 crouch. Okay, so we are attached to somebody's old nether tunnel. I gotta get the numbers that I want to be at. 312 to get it properly linked. Okay. And he built way up here. I'm gonna have to get some scaffolding and we're gonna drop down to Y equals 70, but how are we gonna get scaffolding? Uh, this is a bit of a mess. I didn't really want to link to that portal. I think we're gonna have to temporarily build the structure here, drop down to that island, and then sort it out from there. We don't want to build a cave. Um, so this is gonna be a temporary nether portal, but going in and out of the nether is scary to me. So we're gonna make the platform a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we're going to put Oh, this is top slabs. That's not a good choice. Okay, now we'll build a temporary nether portal. We'll light this guy up and we'll try to go home. We'll hold shift. Okay, now we can go back and we can grab some scaffolding to get down to a better level. I think we're gonna use oak fences, at least on our area, because I've got lots of oak and it's just gonna be easier. So we need some bamboo and we're gonna make ourselves some scaffolding. Put one of these down here, one of these here, and then we'll take some slabs and we'll go like this, place that one there, go around. We're gonna make this uh, nether portal safe before we move on. Now we're gonna have to wait for the nether to load again. We're gonna break this out we got to be really careful not to make a cave see if that works oh no that breaks um 23 blocks let's do some math i i think we can survive that fall I might go back and get a hay bale though and try to block drop on the hay bale. I can't block drop onto um, onto water because this is the nether, right? So I was gonna go try to get a hay bale and see if we can fall onto the hay bale and not take any damage. This will be a little bit of a sketchy, um, sketchy thing. I do have feather falling three on, so that should really help. I think that means that I will survive because it should be falling from 96 to 70, uh, which is 26 blocks. And then I, sh so I should take, um, I should, if I didn't have feather falling, take 20 hearts of damage, which would be lethal, but then feather falling should reduce it by a little bit less, uh, about a third. So I should take a lot of damage, but not die. Um, we'll grab a hay bale or two. And we got scaffolding, we got some blocks. Well, let's go see. Only one way to find out, huh? And the safety uh, committee is now having a heart attack and slamming their keyboards. Don't jump, you're gonna die! Um, but yeah, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna see what happens. Just don't miss, right? All you gotta do is be good, get good and don't miss. Do you think I'm gonna survive? Let me know. Find out next time on Skyblock. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Let me know. And I even I didn't even take half a heart of damage. That was easy peasy. So we're gonna pillar back up just for now, so we could take down that nether portal. Um, wait, before we do that, we got a spawn proof. I'm gonna make a cave, and I don't want to get attacked by skeletons. And of course, I don't have a crafting table. I think we're gonna do it at this level. We'll do it here. A couple of blocks below. There's actually some reasons for not that, not just memes. Um, 
the biggest reason is because if you do it at that level you can get close you can reach to the bottom of the island to place the block if you do it at a different level it's kind of a mess um gonna look up in my calculator oh, wait this should be birch never mind that but we're gonna do that 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 same thing we did in the overworld just circle it in birch and then circle that in stone only this time we're going to do 312 and have an exit each direction and then we're gonna put another crafting table in and we'll light that up okay now I need some inventory space. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna toss things that I don't need in the nether over to the overworld. And then I'm going to grab two of those so we can get 48 rails. I'm gonna place them like this because that just makes sense. I just threw the crafting table in the void and then that. Okay, now we're gonna grab those iron bars may as well put in this bridge just because we're here okay we're gonna go towards zero which is that way so we're gonna start building that way for now i'm just gonna uh block off the directions that we're not gonna be bridging because i don't want to have somebody come through here and just go straight in the void and then we're gonna build just a few blocks at a time Eventually we're gonna move our nether stuff in and have have an actual like station to build from. But this will be fine for now. Make another crafting table. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna put the crafting table right here and we'll put two of them in just because three, four, just doing four blocks at a time. Well, that's one third of the way to zero, zero. This is a lot of building, but it'll be nice if you ever, if I ever die, I just need to get to zero, zero. And then if I build another portal, I only have to get to that portal, um, which makes the game a fair bit less scary. Like we have infrastructure then and getting home isn't hard. Or actually we're a third of the way to um, one of the zeros. We're not getting to zero, zero quite yet. So once we get a third of the way to that zero, then we could put up another portal and we'll have one check-in point and then we'll put one at zero, zero, and then we'll put one, you know, we'll just keep building out slowly over time. Oh, somebody made a farm up there, it looks like. I don't know what farm that is, but there's things falling from it. Or maybe it was Enderman? I don't know. Oh, we're out of stone, so let's run back to the beginning and get some more stone. Just past the halfway point to this next portal. We're going. Getting built. Making a couple of mistakes here and there like that one. And then having to correct them, but not too bad. The only thing I'm worried about is hitting a, um, a lava thing and having to deal with that. They're not hard, they just, you just gotta go to the top and update that lava block and it goes away. It's just a matter of doing it. I don't really want to do that given that fire tick is so well now we're down to sim f uh or tick four a random tick four which is a little bit less scary but still pretty uh pretty quick while i'm passing this lava i'm not gonna be building on the middle i'm not gonna stand on the middle uh wood bit just in case i'll we'll just stand on the side and build from one side and be a little bit safer that way there is also invisible fire in here. Um, that is something that exists when you build the world. Um, there is fire lit in some places and we don't replace the fire with air. So got to listen for the crackling fire because sometimes it can just, you know, catch you on fire when you're not looking. That is two thirds. I can hear some fire crackling, so we're gonna have to watch out. I might catch fire soon, just randomly, or it could be off the side of the road. So we're watching out for ghost fire. Okay, now we're gonna need another crafting table. Okay, stone bricks. Last set of stone bricks. Some planks, some birch slabs. Chop out this crafting table and we'll get going. Uh, there's the random fire, I could tell you that much. It's somewhere right in there. That one has 
a fire somewhere along that. Let's see if we could find it. Is it? It's probably up above our head right there. So I don't think that's light from that lava source. It could be. It could be wrong, but... Oh, there's another tree. That means it's a crimson forest biome. Coming up. Oh, in case anybody was wondering, how did you get so much stone? That's a lot of smelting. You don't have a super smelter, yada, yada, yada. I actually made a stone generator, if you didn't catch that from the other clips. The stone generator generates normal stone by flowing lava into a water source. And when that happens, it generates normal stone. And then I got silk touch because I had silk touch from my pick and I've been just using that. And that gets me normal stone without having to do all the smelting stuff. So I didn't smelt a single one of these pieces of uh, stone brick, but it looks way better than cobble in my opinion. So we're almost to the point where we can start putting in the next portal. This portal is going to be and then we stone brick around that. Ooh, that scared me. I don't know if anybody saw that, but the block didn't make a place sound and I wasn't paying attention. And then it didn't actually exist there. So it disappeared when I was standing on it. Okay, put that down. We'll put the gate in just like we did before. So we're going to put a hole in the floor here, put a crafting table in, make another crafting table, put a hole in the floor here, crafting table, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, planks, put a plank, or a slab there, one, two, one, two, three slabs. And we can light. Okay, let's see what is here. We've got enough stuff to build. Enough stuff to build the, that overworld side. Where does it decide that we're going to be? Hold the shift key. Oh, here we go. Oh, it put us on a mine shaft down here. Well, let's go take a look and see what's in these chests. Well, we got some powered rails, some berries, some pumpkin seeds. We'll grab the glow berries and the golden apple. The golden apple might be useful. We'll wander around here a little bit, but we got to get it up. Well, we can do this, this, and this. Check this minecart chest. Glow berries, I guess. I don't see any other ones real close by. So we need to get higher, and this is kind of scary. There's a bunch of bugs in Minecraft. One of my least favorite ones is the fact that if you, when you're pillaring up, you can end up going falling off into the void. So we're going to do some extra safe pillaring because I don't want to die right now. And then place, place, up, place. Oh, and that pink artifact, if you're seeing it, um, that is something that we're working on. It's a pack that's not released yet. Don't worry about it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to find out about it later. But it is not ready yet. That shouldn't be there. All right, so let's go. Which way is... It's two. Zero. Eight. 99. Okay, we'll do this. I don't have... Oh, I do have more oak fences. That's excellent. Two, three. One, two, three. There. One, two, three. And then across the top. Okay. And then we're going to go down and take down the portal down below. Somebody else can play with this mine shaft. I took what I wanted from it. I mean, it would have been nice to get a couple of diamonds, but... All right, we'll go back up to the top. Go back to the nether. We can start on the next one. I am going to have to go back to my base and get some more supplies, but that's not a problem. Okay, there's still some corrupted sub-chunks or, like, 
sub chunks that were brought in from the old world. I don't know why that is. Um, it's kind of interesting, but we're going to do a bit of a bigger um, area for this, the zero zero. It just feels normal to do that to me, just to give a little bit more space at zero zero. We'll just do a nine by um, nine inner and then work the rest out from there. And then we'll start putting stripes of birch in, I think. It's a little bit bigger than a chunk, and it's definitely not chunk aligned, so we'll have to make a bunch of slabs out. And Okay, now let's put some birch slabs down. And I have no idea if this is going to look good or not. I'm just, just building. I haven't figured out how I want to finish the middle yet either, because the middle is going to be a little bit wonky, given that it's a 3x3... Three or it's a three by one shape in the middle. So we gotta figure that out. Okay, now the obsidian time. We'll just go like that, I guess. And then we'll do that. That, and one, two. And then we'll put stone bricks because I just don't want them to catch fire. Two, stone brick. Two, three. Okay. No, oh, that looks pretty good. <coughs> we'll hide two crafting tables. I don't have any cobble on me. But I do have some birch. Can at least make coming out of the uh, the portal safe. Three four. One, two, three. Okay, that's now at least safe getting out of the portal. Hey, this is Mad Hatter, and thank you for watching. This nether tunnel actually has gotten expanded fully by the time that I'm actually recording the outro because it's been a few weeks since I actually recorded those clips. I know I'm way far behind on editing here. I'm going to try to get caught up this weekend and maybe get some content out on this. I am actually feeling like I want to do something a little bit different, so stay tuned if you like this sort of a, a series, but want another twist on it. So I'm going to leave you with that. This is Mad Hatter, and I'm out. Bye!